So everybody loves a sleeper, and this 2018 Mustang GT is a perfect example. I mean, you look at it, tinted windows, lowered, but besides that, it looks absolutely stock, even under the hood looks stock. But this car makes around 1,200 horsepower, and the owner's here to tell us all about it. So here with Brian, who's the owner of this deceptively fast Mustang. I mean, look at this thing, you would never think it's as quick as it is. And this car's got a pretty good story, but the story leading into this car is probably better or worse, depending on how you want to look at it. But tell us about this car and tell us about the car you actually had before this one. Okay, it's 2018 GT, bought it from, I actually bought it from a Chevy dealer in Michigan. Okay. Um, it was little used, had 9,000 miles on it. But the plan from the start was a twin turbo kit, basically anything we could do for the street. Um, keeping it stock, except for the turbos and some bolt-on stuff. Okay. And as you know, those plans often spiral, run, yep. and just go crazy. So we did the Hellion Twin, Hellion Twin sleeper kit, um, forced induction turbos. And tell us a little bit about that sleeper kit for people who might not know what that is. What, I mean, obviously the goal is the sleeper, but how does what, how does that kit work? Um, everything's underneath the car, so it all bolts in much easier than the top mount kit. Um, my 15, which we'll talk about, um, was a top mount kit. Okay. So you pop the hood, the turbos are right there. They were there side by side, like yep. right in the front. Yeah. Yep. And these ones, they're underneath at the back of the motor. So you pop the hood, it looks bone stock. You don't see anything unless you know what you're looking for. Okay. But they're right there. Installation, super easy. Um, we had it done in a day. Oh, wow. Um, okay. And I'm assuming there's a fuel system and stuff that went along with it? No. Really? Um, we did the Extreme DI upgraded um, high pressure fuel pump. Okay. Um, which involves changing out one cam, and that's just because the load's a little bit higher. No fuel system, it's got a stock fuel system. We changed pumps in the tank, but as far as lines and system goes. So, stock fuel system, upgraded DI pump, a twin turbo kit, and what did it make to the tire? 1047 of the tire. On, on the, pump gas. On pump 93. Wow. From the gas station across the street. <laughs> okay. Uh, and. Transmission upgrade, rear upgrade, I mean, obviously you're gonna do more to it down the road, I'm sure, but as of now, no? Right now, stock trans. Um, it's got a bunch of upgraded suspension stuff. We did springs, um, vertical arms. It's um, all BMR stuff, I think you said. A uh, combination of BMR and UPR. Okay, okay. Um, A lot of UPR stuff because they help out the race program with Hellion, but BMR stuff's in there with the springs because their springs are really good. Um, some braces and stuff that are underneath that UPR doesn't have. Okay. So we've got as much BMR stuff in there as I could get in. So this car has a pretty interesting nickname. Uh, I know it didn't come about in a good way, but tell us a story about it anyway. So the car's nickname is Flipside. Um, it actually came about through a conversation with Ainsley Jacobs um, following the race in Chicago in 2019, um, the NMRA race. At that time, I had uh, just received the 2015 Mustang, um, basically fully built. Sent it out. That was built engine, twins, yeah. everything. Twin basically. kit, suspension all done, built engine. Dwayne James built the motor, shipped him the car. He worked on it over the winter, beginning of the season. And then John Yuris brought it back to Chicago to that MRA race in the semi. And we backed it out, ran True Street, had a photo shoot for it, backed the car into my friend's trailer on Sunday morning because uh, they were nice enough to bring it back east for me. Um, about an hour and a half into their trip, had an unfortunate accident, stacker rolled over. 2015 was on the bottom of the stacker Oof. and ended up on its roof. I, flip side. Yeah, hence <laughs> flip side. Um, I affectionately say that it turned into a gymnast in a box Ugh. Uh, because it was pretty ugly. Because it was, so that was under a lift with another car on top. Yep. Too. Yeah, the race car was up top on the lift strapped down, my car was strapped down on the bottom. So yours took and the worst of it basically. Yeah. So yep. I take it that far. car was that car was totaled. totaled. <laughs> yep. Got all the parts back off of it that we could put stock stuff back on it. With maybe what, 60 miles on it? Yeah. It if had that. We ran well, whatever True Street is. True and... Street and two trips to the hotel wow. from that race. So pretty disappointed with that. Um, but luckily in the wreck, nobody got hurt. Everybody was fine. And that's what you always hope um, for. Cars are replaceable. Friends aren't. So now what kind of power did that car make? Uh, that one was 650 to the tire. Okay, so um, you were just getting started. Basically, yeah, it was just one. getting started. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Just didn't. It didn't even have a boost control on it yet because oh, John, wow. did, okay. John didn't have one on the shelf. <laughs> okay. Um, so we had it in the box in the trailer. Um, it was in the car with me to go home. Um, Is that but, the one that's on this car now? Um, no, that one we had an eBoost two for that car. Okay. Um, this one's got an AMS 2000. Now back to this car, what, I mean, where are you going to head with it now? I know you talked about you got some welds on order for it, you got some testing coming up, which we'd love to make it out to the track and actually see this thing run. Yep. But uh, what, what is the next plan for it? I mean, are you going to keep this kind of sleeper look with it or are you going to kind of try to do some other stuff to it? Um, based on history, I would like to keep the car for a little more than, you know, <laughs> more a month than, or two. Than one event. Yeah. Um, 
but yeah, I've got some welds on order. They should, I think they're on their way here actually, um, on their way to my house. Um, so I've got those coming. Basically keep it stocked for the street, just go out, have fun with it, be able to drive it around. Because you can sneak up on pretty much, I mean, it, it doesn't even, it sounds like a Mustang with exhaust. Like yep. it doesn't have any kind of, no giveaway whatsoever. Yeah, I can, I can roll up next to somebody who just drove a black Mustang off the lot and it looks exactly the, the same well, until the light changes and then. Awesome car, <laughs> crazy power. Thanks for bringing it out today. Since I know everybody's going to ask, unfortunately we can't drive this car today. It is pouring <laughs> in Pennsylvania, but uh, we will definitely have Brian back at the studio at some point. We will get this car out on the road and hopefully out on the track. Thanks again for coming out. Thanks a lot, appreciate it.